Okay. So I'm going to mix black and white to make a gray, a, a soft, soft gray. I don't think we'll need a harsh, dark gray in here because what we're going to do is use the brush after to do those dark kind of either a brush or the pencil, a pencil crayon to do, to do the um, uh, shadows, the shadowy area, like the sketch idea. So for the base, as a base, what we're gonna do is just take black and white, soft, light black and white, uh, make it a bit, uh, add a bit of water to it so it's not too heavy, too thick. And pick up a bit of ultramarine violet slowly and put it in. So uh, it gives you that nice kind of purple, uh, uh, gray. Okay, and of course, acrylic dries darker. So, um, we'll adjust the color. I'm going to start with this part. This is quite dark right now, but the reason I want a wide brush. So it gives me time to highlight some areas when it's still wet. And I'll show you in a minute. This is gonna dry darker. I'm gonna take white and while it's wet, I'm gonna put the white in where there's a highlight. Where you see a highlight, try to put the white in right now when it's dry. It's the, the, the reason I'm saying that is just because it gives you a softer uh, edges because the color underneath is still wet. I'm gonna go back. So I, I'm, that's what I'm doing right here. I'll show you. I'm trying to get this and this highlighted right now. Because you see the edge here, the edge of the, the, the transition from dark to light in here, it's soft, very soft. And that's only, you can only achieve this when those two colors are wet at the same time. If one of them dries, then you'll get a, a harsh edge. Um, but, it, oh, oops, wrong place. It's okay. It's faster, easier when you work with a big brush on a big, in a big area. So now, because I made a mistake, I'm gonna try to fix it right now. Take white. And this is kind of still a bit wet. So I'm adding white right now. with the corner of my brush, a very gentle, gentle kind of pressure. Don't, don't push too hard. Again, more white. Can you see where I'm blending? Yes, you can. Okay. And I'm gonna come here. It's a smaller brush now. I switched from the big one to a smaller one. And I'm gonna go down with this, with the highlights. Awesome. This is still wet, so it's 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 working very well. I don't have harsh edges. Do you want me to stop when I get to this? You know, when I yes. Okay, I'll stop in a minute.
I'm just going to put the highlights and then I'll stop. So when I want a, a strong, strong white highlight, not very strong, but I mean stronger than um, where you can see it, I some what I do sometimes is wait for it to dry, and then I'll, I'll put the white because then you'll see it. Because the more it, when the paint is wet, what you're getting is a, um, a the the paint underneath when when you're putting the white over. Is, is absorbing that white. So you're not gonna get a strong white, you're gonna get a mild, nice white, but not strong. So usually what I do is I wait for it to dry a bit. And then um, if I want a strong light highlight, I wait for it to dry. And then I, uh, I, uh, I, you know, add that white, especially then you, you'll see it when it's on that way. Okay, so this is, shouldn't be talking and painting at the same time. I see here, there's a nice fold. So I'm gonna go from bottom up a bit. I'm not concerned, too concerned about the the uh, detail here because um, we're going to use the sketch technique after, sketching technique, so. I'm getting a really good uh, fold, kind of. So I'm going with the with the movement of the cover. Cover comes this way down. It flows that way. It flows this way. So I am following the shape of the bed. With my brush stroke. I'm trying to stop, but I can't. Wait. I'm stop. trying to stop. Like I'm trying to just kind of take a break and stop, but um, I just want to finish a couple of brush strokes. Okay, so now this part of the bed, of the sheets, is a, more on the titanium titanium buff and white on this on this side. So I'm going to leave this alone right now, and I'm going to stop the recording. Okay, so let's do this part. I'm going to take this because I have it ready, so I don't want to mix it again. You know what I mean? It's easier to do it right now.
Oh, medium tone. All right. Okay, let's take, wipe my brush, take a bit of black, more black, and add it to my gray. So make my uh, make the gray darker on in here, and we will we will add the um, we will be uh, sketching over this with the pencil crayon for the sh more shadows, stronger shadows. But for now. We'll just prepare this. And wipe my brush, add a bit more white. and highlight this area here. Oh, here's more. So hard, it gives new meaning to pin drop silence. I know, I know. So uh, everybody's uh, taking it too seriously. Mm. Why? <laughs> everybody's quiet. Yeah. Oh, you see, this is because the color underneath is dry. See how strong the white is? Okay. Okay, so I'm watering down my titanium buff. I'm just glazing this because the the color itself is kind of transparent. So I'm going to add white right now to this. A bit of white here.
Your titanium buff is really, really nice. Yeah, so the, the cheap thing from uh, the sale, you know those big jars ah. you buy? Um, it's very, very bright, very, very nice. There is a difference between the white and the cream. Mm -hmm. Now I'm adding white over the titanium buff. Yeah, yeah. So I'm highlighting. I'm highlighting my titanium buff right now. Yeah. Okay. And a bit of white in here. All right, and let's leave that to dry. I think. Uh, I think this needs to be a little, uh, a little bit, um, yeah, narrower. Yeah, okay, good. So I'm gonna take my round brush. Round? Round, round yes. brush, titanium buff. I'm gonna put a bit of uh, ultramarine violet in it. By itself? No, no, ultramarine violet and titanium buff. Oh. I'm just making my titanium buff a bit darker. Mm -hmm. I know we're going to use uh, eventually a pencil, okay. pencil crayon to do the shading here, yeah, but yeah. it helps to have a dark, Dark base. Yeah. And ultramarine violet um, is soft. So when you, when you make your titanium buff, if you want to make it darker, ultramarine violet is a good color. So now, still, because I still have my round brush and I have white here, I'm going to highlight a bit, work on my highlighting these areas here a bit more with my round brush. It's like, it's like sketching. Yeah. You're highlighting with what? White, just white, yeah, yeah. It's more like a dry technique too. Like it's not a lot of water in here. Not, it not enough, like I, I'm not even putting water with, putting my brush in water, just white.
think. And since I'm doing this, I'm going to start doing the uh, little kind of design that's on top. So I watered down my my color, my white, and I'm going to come here and see if I can. Hmm. No, it needs to be watered down more. Yeah, that's good. It's very, very transparent. And I can highlight a bit more. I can add a bit more transparent, like th thicker uh, in a minute. So I'm using, I'm using the, I'm doing the thin ones right now, the really kind of, um, first layer. It's only white layer. Only white, but lots of water in my white. Lots of water. Really oh. glaze. See, it's very, very soft. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not a lot of uh, paint in here. Now I'm putting a bit more paint, but not, not strong again glaze this is a glaze so it means it's like uh it's it's paint but it has water in it so it's transparent Thank you, Ingrid, because this is this is much easier. Glazing this on is much easier than trying to put that color, th th those, this design on the cover when it's still wet. Mm -hmm. Much easier. Nice tip. Thank you for the tip. Well. I have to call you master from now on. <laughs> you are though. <laughs> you are a master. Only the genie you calls are, you yeah. master. You uh, yeah, yeah. Very good one. Yes. Oh my God, this is so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> Like toy painting. Yeah. It's relaxing. Exactly. I forgot all about everything. What time is it? Oh, okay, we have time. I'm going to try to... Half an hour, uh, I think, almost. Yeah, yeah, I just want to make sure that we have... Uh, we decide on a new project before we we sign off.
How is the weather tomorrow? Oh. Rain. Oh, rain. 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 I don't yes, believe yes. them. I don't believe them. They said today rain and nothing happened. Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but it's going to be exactly. cold, but then it's going to get, oh, it's going to be nicer as the week progresses well into the weekend. Yes. Okay. Which is, oh, it'll be so nice. Yes. Because today, I mean, every time I go out, I overdress. Like I think, oh, it's going to be windy and cold yeah. and sweater and cold. And, and then I'm going, I went to get groceries and I'm sweating. I have to take my hat off. And, yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. It, it's like, I think it's we're in the weather where you don't know how to dress so that you're comfortable, you know? Yeah. But March and April is kind of like that, I think. Mm -hmm. March, April is rainy month. Yeah, a little bit more. But tomorrow I have to take my mom to the, um, there's a Slovenian meat market in uh, near Brown's line. And uh, where we get like a sort of um, a smoked ham and smoked sausages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. So uh, mama likes to have that, you know, like around Easter and holidays. So it's kind mom of a bit of a 